Following a request from one of you fine fellows, today's In Focus comes from the Ukraine and the small town of Mezhirich. For it was here in 1965, when Mr. Novitsky was expanding his cellar, that he unearthed the lower jawbone of a mammoth. This was quite a surprise, and archaeologists were called in. Subsequent excavations uncovered 149 mammoth bones, a truly mammoth find. The sheer number of bones found on the site led archaeologists to assume that this had been a kill site, a place where mammoth were hunted and dismembered. However, bit by bit, the bones seemed to form discrete piles, and more than this, the piles seemed to have an order to them. Eventually, four of these ordered piles were uncovered, and it was soon realised that they had been structures. A group of houses, if you will, made from mammoth bones. They became known as the Mezhoich Mammoth Camp. These impressive structures are found across this part of the world, and date to between 15 and 22,000 years ago, during the last Ice Age and the Upper Paleolithic. By virtue of their construction, they belie a hardy and resourceful group of people, surviving in fairly extreme conditions. Bone needles found on the site also attest to this. Clothing had to be well made, and so therefore did the tools which made clothing, the landscape at this time has been described as a patchwork, ranging from glaciers to tundra forest steppe, a truly challenging combination. These hardy homes were constructed to withstand everything, from snow and blizzards to relatively mild, if windy, conditions. These structures were built to last, and could easily be occupied by tens, if not up to a hundred, individuals. There is much debitage and waste from making of tools in these huts, and the pits dug around them indicate that they acted as beacons, drawing many people together in one place. Some have suggested that within these structures of mammoth bone and animal skin, larger family groups would draw together at certain times of the year, pooling their resources in order to outlast the harshest of the weather. In this way, Mezoich would have been a welcome sight to anyone, an oasis of warmth and companionship, though curiously enough they lack a crucial component, portable art. Art made from baked clay, or carvings in antler, bone and ivory, are a signature of human activity at this time. Even simple etchings are often found on tusks and teeth, so why not at Mezoich? This is possibly due to their location, very far north in the Ukraine. It may be that survival was more important than making art. However, one of the mammoth skulls does show signs of artistic endeavour, with carvings and hints of colour, possibly representing fire. Some have also said that the structures themselves are an artistic achievement, a monument. To make each one, it is likely that a whole herd of mammoth was killed. As you can imagine, this was no mean feat. Mammoth, after all, were massive animals, and it's hard to think that they would have been anything but difficult to hunt. We should not underestimate the achievement of these mammoth bone huts, gathering together such heavy materials to create marvellous and sturdy structures, such ingenuity in using the most unlikely of materials to create beautiful buildings is most certainly admired in other parts of the world today. So there you go, as requested, the mammoth bone huts of Mezoich, truly remarkable structures.